G'day ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to another let's play let's go let's see let's do and today what the hell are we going to do? Star Citizen folks and yes I am near SAL5 and um, to be honest with you I've seen this is a retaliator it is a retaliator it's just been sitting there and doing nothing. So I'm coming in for a bit of a look because I'm just trying to see, is it a player ship? Is it an NPC ship? It's got that white thing all around it and I just bumped into it. Nice one, Ev. Fucking idiot. Um, so yeah, it doesn't look like anybody's home, which means I'm going to actually um, hole scrape it. So I'm going to lower its shields by firing at the fucking thing and then I'm going to hole scrape it. But don't worry. That's not just what this whole video is all about. Um, there's going to be more to it to that. So I've got something in mind here, folks. Okay, I've got something really, really interesting in mind. I've never done this before, but I do have it in mind. What I'm also realizing is that this thing has got fucking great shields. Even when no one's home, they should be doing something. Am I even landing a shot? Okay. So I'm just trying to, so those of you that don't know, if you press R on the keyboard, I'll turn the lights off as well, um, it actually allows you to target certain areas of the actual ship. Um, so I think that's quite cool. Now, what you haven't seen, thanks to movie magic, is the fact that I've been sitting here firing at the fucking thing for over 10 minutes. So even though no one's home, it's done nothing, it's still taking a fucking long time to lower the damn shields. Um, yeah, I need to invest in this ship if that's how it is. So we'll try to get this ship to go boom so I can hole scrape it because I also tried to just start scraping even though the shields were down. It started and then the shields went right up, which was fucking annoying. Um, funny, but annoying. So here we go. Is it going to go down now? Come on. Don't want to be sitting here all fucking day shooting at it. Even with its shields down, it's still pretty good. There you go. It's gone boom. Uh, he's going down now. Very nice. Oh, and I got a fucking crime stat increase. Thank you very much. But that's okay, folks, because crime stat 2 means I can still sell this shit, and I'm going to. And I have an idea how to take care of the crime stat. Well, it's not really an idea. It's, it, it's a proven thing, but I just haven't had a chance to do that. So it's going to end up in a couple of ways, but you'll see. So scraping, scraping, scraping. Ev, these good people don't want to sit or here and watch the scraping. Oh, geez, that's fucking bright. Um, just as a bit of an FYI, folks, if you are doing hole scraping and if you are in the vulture and if you are doing these things, you'll also notice that they've kind of increased the level of, let's just say, brightness when you're doing these things, almost like you're welding something. I'm almost half tempted to get a pair of fucking sunglasses or welding goggles when I play the game next time. But anyway... That's not what I'm talking about here. Well, it is what I'm talking about, but we're ejecting this shit out here. So there's not much here. I mean, just the top of it got about nine SCU. So I'm, I'm not complaining because if I could flip the fucking thing over, I'd probably get another nine. So that's also quite cool. But anyway, I want to see now if the fucking cargo grid's working again, because it's been a bit of a fucking issue recently. One, oi, two and three. All right. So it seems to be working again. Uh, I don't know, I've heard in the comments that, heard, read in the comments that other players are also having similar issues with cargo grids at the moment. I think it's because of this patch, but I, obviously I can't say anything to that. I'm not a programmer, I don't know what's going on. But I've got the feeling that something's going on. Something's stuffing up with something else. So I'm going to try to put this one on top. And because I'm an idiot, it's not fucking going, it's not snapping to grid. Fuck it, leave it go down. Come on down no you're not going over oh god please don't fuck up please don't fuck up is this going to go on top as well oh piss off why is it fucking doing that now i know i suck but come on why isn't it snapping to the top is it only now going to snap to the bottom that's going to be fucking annoying here we go i know it's only nine scu and i don't have to bitch about it but come on out you come. At least the ejection part's working. I've got to give him credit. That's been fixed now, and I'm quite a fan of that. Let's do this nicely and gently. Hey, here we go. It's working. All right, so here we go, folks. We're back at Area 18. We're at the TDD area. We've got those bloody markers in front of me, which I freaking will hate. And it's 130K.1. 
for the salvaging. So that's not too bad. Nice little profit there. But is it worth the crime stat? Probably not. So here I am at Cubby Blaster and I'm actually going to do this properly. At least, well, I don't know if it's properly or not, but I'm going to try this. Oh, it's nearly a thousand um, AUEC for a Tiger Claw, which is the security. It's Crypto Key, right? Uh, go to Crypto Key for good reasons. Okay, yeah, yeah. I'm just reading the, um, the blurb about that. So yes, that's what we want. We want one of these things. But the question is, if I've got a crime stat level two, is one of these things going to work or do I need two? Um, and if you guys know what I'm talking about, then let me know in the comments. Either way, we're going to go see. So for those of you that don't know what the hell I'm on about, you're, you're going to find out very shortly. I'm not going to spoil the surprise for you. But what I am going to do is put some extra shit on because I know I'm going to a very, very, well, let's just say trigger happy place. So I need something. I need to carry something. Yeah, that pink thing will do. If I lose it, fuck it. Who knows? And also two weapons. No, no, utilities. Now I've got to find that fucking tiger claw. What I would really love is a search here. Does it have a search? It's got a filter, but I don't know if there's an actual search where you can actually find what you're looking for. Uh, but I'm guessing that's going to come in the next patch when they all when they get rid of this little system here. Um, but anyway, we shall see next. Where is it? It'll be the last thing I bought, so it should be at the bottom. There it is. Ha ha. There you go. So we've got this. I'm carrying that on my person. I am going to take off. Well, did that work? No, I didn't. So anyway, I'm here, folks. I've taken the Aurora MR out of mothballs only because if it fucks up and if this mission goes to hell and if I die, well, I'm not going to fucking really care about um, claiming this thing again. Um, oh, God, get in the fucking ship, Ev. Oh, don't tell me I can't get in the ship in this. Okay, whew. For a second, I was thinking, no, don't tell me they fucked up the starter ship. Um, so, yeah. All these little F things. Yeah, I've done this a million times. The first few times getting into your ship, it's cool. After a while, it just gets fucking annoying. Uh, but yeah, it's immersion. I get it, I get it, I get it. So, U4 on makes perfect sense. Um... Let's get this thing on the road. Got the engines going. I was thinking of taking the Pisces, folks, but I also realized when I was in the Pisces that it was going to take 23 hours to get <laughs> to where I wanted to go. And I'm just like, yeah, nah, fuck it. We're changing that. Um, at least that's what it said. Estimated time, 23 hours. Uh, so here we go. We're taking the Aurora. It's got a couple of... Um, what do you want to call it? Level one little shooty pew 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 thing. So yeah, that's going to do absolutely nothing, but we shall see. So here we go, folks. You may know where we are. You may not. This is Security Outpost Korea. And we are here because I was told in many other YouTube videos that if you want to get rid of your crime stat, you come here with a security key. And you just go in, whack it into the computer, press a few buttons, and Bob's your uncle. At least that's what other players kind of do. Now, I don't know if that's still true for this patch. So, let's go and have a look, folks. Again, this is the first time I've done this. So, I, I don't know what to expect. We, we really don't know what to expect here. So, we're coming in close. We're under 10Ks. Now, I know that people can start firing. So, I'm just going to be coming in oh, i don't want to say stealthy but i'm going to be coming in on an angle just so it doesn't look like i'm going to cause anybody to get excited okay what the hell's going on here who have i pissed off come on i'm being targeted there's a fucking missile no 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 hey 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 get that fucker Fuck. <laughs> uh, okay. Well, there goes that plan, eh, folks? Um, well, good news is uh, I'm in jail, which means after a certain point in time, the crime stat will go away, which is obviously the other way you can get rid of a crime stat. Not what I was looking to do. But yeah. Okay, we're here. 
leaving private property. I love it how the game catches up after like so many minutes of you being here and it's not there. Uh, obviously, we've got some dead people just lying around. So yeah, a few things need to be fixed here first. Oh, cool. I just have to go down here. That's nice. So I'll give a bit of a run and jump. There we go. Smack myself into a pillar. I oh, know. Fucking missed it completely. Shit. That's okay, folks. I am an expert at this. Leave it to me. I know where I need to go. Unfortunately, I've done this so many times, I know exactly where I need to go. So usually the colored rocks kind of help you. When I mean by colored rocks, when they paint them yellow, it usually means you can jump up on them. But I've done this area so many times, I know exactly where I need to go. You can climb yourself up here. And even though you can't climb up here because it won't let you, if you actually do this correctly, which I'm not at the moment, but if you do this correctly, take a step back. Take a little bit more step back, Ev. Step back and jump. There you go. You can do this, and then you give it a bit of a running jump, and... Ah, oh, fuck. Well, where am I stuck now? Ah, uh, piss off. <laughs> stuck i've jumped over the platform and stuck myself in the platform oh, come on no i'm not don't want to do this again come on okay we'll give it a better run and jump there you go timed it well very nice okay so we're not going to do that again but yeah so if you guys end up down there you know now you know how to get out of there let's have a look at the terminal folks for a laugh how many minutes have we got left 43 i'm fucking off then so thank you very much for watching see you in the next one